everybody, it is Sophie here and welcome back to my channel. Excuse my face, I know I have no makeup on, but you can see my fresh faced beauty before it gets caked up like... Um, today, I'm super excited to be filming this video. I've never really done like a proper makeup type video. I've maybe done like one before, but I've improved since then. But today, I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions. I think that's what people call these videos. First face testing new makeup. Um, I have quite a bit of new makeup. Um, I actually was lucky enough to receive a parcel from Colourpop Cosmetics and Marc Jacobs Beauty. Um, so there's a lot of new stuff from them that they have sent me, which what? <laughs> I'm like blown away. So thank you so much for that. So I'm going to be testing a lot of their new stuff out and then I also ordered a package from Tarte um, that came the other week so I have a few new things I'm going to try out from them and then I just have a few other random bits and bobs that I'm going to be trying out in this video and I'm super excited because I don't know about you guys but I love makeup and I love trying out new stuff and I've been holding off on trying a lot of this stuff for, for this video so I'm super excited to be getting into it um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video then keep on watching and let's get started Started. I'm gonna put on my headband because I might not look like I have a lot of hair but all of this gets like stuck in my face when I'm doing my foundation so annoying and I just I need to get it out of my face you know so I'm gonna look really crazy for the next like half an hour but you're just gonna have to bear with me okay so I've zoomed you in a bit this is about as close and personal as we've gotten in a long time <laughs> So, the first thing I'm going to be starting off with is actually just like a facial spray. I always love to spray my face with like um, something before I start my makeup. Um, I actually picked this up from Mecca the other day. This is the Mario Badescu um, facial spray with aloe, cucumber and green tea. I love this stuff. I've got the rose water spray and then I saw they bring out a new one. So, I wanted to try it. I picked it up. It's like eight bucks or something. So, I'm going to give it a go. It smells really good. So, let's see how it goes. Okay. First impressions. Mm. It smells so good. I love this stuff. It's so hydrating. Mm. Oh my god. For the price that you pay, oh, I love it. It smells so good. Oh my god, yes. I love this stuff. So you can actually use this as a setting spray. Apparently, you can put it in your hair, on your neck, use before moisturizer throughout the day or as a final step following makeup. So yeah, um, I love this stuff. Um, highly recommend. Great, great purchase. Okay, so today for primer, I'm going to be using something that I'm so excited to be trying out. This is the Marc Jacobs Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. <laughs> Marc Jacobs sent this to me, um, and can I just say, um, I'm blown away, genuinely. Thank you so much. It is beautiful. The packaging of this is so sleek and it just, it just, look at it. It's just, mmm, I love the smell of coconut, so this is like my kind of thing. So I'm just going to take some of this on the back of my hand. Ooh, it's very liquidy. Do you know, I'm not like a huge primer person, so I don't really know um, a lot about primers. I'm just going to dot that over my face. Ooh. Oh, wow. I'm actually just going to use my hands, I think. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's very moisturizing. So, it doesn't strike me as something that would um, fill your pores, but it is a very moisturizing primer. I think it would be great for people with oily skin. I don't really have like a particular type of skin. I have um, just regular regular skin. I don't really get like acne or anything. Um, I would say if anything my skin might be on the more sensitive side but I don't particularly have anything wrong with my skin but this feels really nice. It feels like it's just like put on a very nice even layer for me to apply my makeup with. So, ooh, I really like that. How can you do your makeup without your brushes? I need my brushes. Okay. That might have been helpful to start my video with. What brushes? My, my... How can you start a video without any makeup brushes, people? Thank you. Sure. So, 
I am going to be moving on to foundation now. This is a foundation that I bought when I was overseas in um, LA and it was in my haul. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation Broad Strip. Blah, 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 blah. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. It is a really nice, lightweight, loose foundation. I have actually tried this before, so this isn't a first impression. But, however, I did want to try this because I don't have any other foundations that I need to try at the moment because I haven't bought any foundations and I'm so in love with this one that I don't think anything else would top it but Colourpop was kind enough to send over some new brushes they just released a whole um, brush set uh, on is that flickering I'm really sorry um, they just released a whole new brush set so I want to try their brushes with the new foundations I think I'm going to try the stippling brush here because that is usually the kind of brush that I use for my foundations and we'll see how it goes compared to my regular flat top brush that I usually use so we'll give it a go this is one of the ones that has like the squirty lid so I'm just going to take some of that and squirt it on my face like so up on the forehead <laughs> look like this and you look fab your list. I'm just going to take our stippling brush and I'm just going to start stippling this onto my face. Okie dokie, let's see how this goes. Okay, I don't know if I'd personally use a brush like this for my foundation because this brush is a lot smaller than what I would usually use. And oh, it's shedding. There's a little hair. Um, I don't know. I feel like you have to work well to try and make it not go streaky. Um, it is working pretty well, to be honest. It's it's applying the foundation evenly across the face, which is a good sign. But I think if it was me, I would be going back in with my regular foundation brush and kind of blending everything out, which is what I'm going to do now. I've applied everything evenly over the skin, and now I'm just going to take my trusty brush this is the Eve Lom foundation brush I don't know buffing flat top brush I got it from Mecca last year um, and I swear by it I've been using it every single day since it is amazing so yeah I'm just going to take this this foundation is very dewy I really like it. it's a nice coverage take it bum the ears yeah okay I think this foundation has worked well the brush I did like, but I don't think that's what I guess it's supposed to be used for. I think I would probably prefer to use this for cream products, like cream contour, um, if you have a little bit of cream blush. But I think it is a very nice brush, I just don't think I used it for the right thing. I'm going to move on to concealer. Today I'm going to be trying out the Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I have heard a lot about this concealer um, and I've been waiting to try it so today is the day I picked it up from Mecca a couple weeks ago um, so I'm just going to get some of my brush okay I'm just going to oh my god I have such a bad habit of putting myself in front of the mirror what if I move you guys over there there we go that's better so I'm just going to create a triangle I never really used to have eye bags but now because of, you know everything's going on in my life I have pretty bad bags I like to just take it on my lids as well, put it under my eyes, my forehead, my nose, and my chin. And then I do just take the same brush that I use for my foundation and I just blend this in. I really like the colour. Um, I think I don't like a super light um, concealer because I don't like it when my concealer is obvious. Um, that it's a different colour from my foundation. So I really like the colour. This was the uh, fair neutral. I think it's like the lightest or maybe the second lightest shade that you can get, but I really like it. Um, sorry, I keep moving you guys around because I feel like my mirror is in the way every time I'm doing something and I feel like I'm looking in the viewfinder. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I really like this. Um, oh, I've got my eyelid. Can't forget the eyelids, can we now? Um, It's gone a little bit patchy under my eyes, but I have very, very, very dry under eyes in the winter, so 
maybe I just need to moisturize a bit more than what I am. Um, but no, I, I, I like that. Oh, it's covered up very well. I did have pretty bad dark circles before I started this, so I'm not complaining, I like it. So to set this, we're going to go in with a bit of a drugstore moment. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Normal to Dry Pressed Powder, I think. <laughs> it almost looks like it has like a shimmery kind of reflex to it. I don't really know if you guys can see that. But I'm just going to be taking another one of our Colourpop brushes. This is just the... Um, I think it's the second largest one. I think it's supposed to be a blush brush, but... The powder brush is a bit big for me to like fit under my eyes and this is a bit too small to use as a blush brush. So I'm using it as a powder brush, I'm just going to put some of that on my brush and just powder under the eyes. I don't really like to bake because I feel like it makes my eye under eyes look really cakey. Oh, this is a really nice powder. It's giving a really nice shine under the eyes. Ooh, I really like this. Some people don't like really shimmery powders under their eyes, but like... I wouldn't say this is like overly shimmery, it's just like a really nice glisten, if you will. On the forehead, on the nose, and on the chin. I like to set my smile lines as well because sometimes this foundation does cake up around the smile lines and I hate it, it looks so ugly, so I like to just set them and yeah. That is my base done. Um, verdict on this powder, I really liked it. It is got a really nice, I don't know if it's like a different one I picked up because I haven't really heard people say that it has a shimmer in it, but it has like a really nice reflective, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just got a really nice reflective kind of nature to it. I really like it. I'm definitely going to be using this as a powder from now on. Moving on, we are going to do some contour and bronzer. I'm so excited for this. Uh, for my contour, I have the Marc Jacobs Instamark Light Filtering Contour Powder. It comes in this big old box. I love the Marc Jacobs packaging. It's so sleek and like beautiful. Oh. So I'm going to be taking some of that contour shade over here and I'm going to start coming out my cheeks. I don't usually do contour because I like to keep my makeup um, natural, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to be trying it. Again, I'm going to be going back in with one of my ColourPop brushes. This is an angled brush. Um, I'm just going to lightly go into this shade because it looks very pigmented. It looks like a very cool toned um, contour shade, but we'll see. I'm going to use this big mirror because it's very big. We'll see. I think I have way too much in my brush. Tap off the excess. Ooh. Not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. Come on. Where are you? Don't be shy. There we go. There she is. She's coming out to play now. Do you know, a lot of people would be very disappointed with this product because it's not super pigmented. But for me, I actually really like it because I love a natural contour. And I think this really does give that effect. Let's try the other cheek now. It might also be the brush. This is a very um, not dense brush. I'm going to try a denser brush and see how it goes. Uh, this is the Real Techniques. Um, what is it? Uh, this is the Real Techniques sculpting brush. I'm just going to lightly tap into that because it is a lot denser. Oh, yeah. Okay, verdict on this. I really like it because, again, like I said, I love a natural contour. But if you're somebody that likes to really cut your cheekbones, um, I don't think this is for you. But I'm definitely excited to try using this because, um, I don't know, I just really like a light contour. But I am going to bronze the face up a bit. But before I do that, I did just want to try out this um, powder. It's a very peachy 
toned powder. Um, I'm just going to highlight under my eyes again just to give them a little bit more of a brighten up because um, why not. Hmm. I really like this duo. Um, I have heard a few mixed reviews about it um, but I do like a cool toned um, contour and I love a warm toned bronzer. So yeah, I like that. I like it, I like it, I like it. For my contour, bleh, I just contoured Sophia, you're about to bronze. For my bronzer today, I'm going to be using this. This is the Alexis Ren Ty, the Alexis Ren X Colourpop. This is what it looks like. It comes with a highlight and a bronzer. I'm just going to be using the bronzing shade today, but um, I'm sure we will have plenty of opportunity to use the highlight in the future. But it is a very warm toned bronzer. This is what she looks like. Um, okay, I'm just going to take this brush here. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to be taking this kind of fluffy brush here. I'm just going to lightly tap into that because it is very, very pigmented. Look at that. It's like, look, look. I barely even need to coat my brush. Okay, um, let's see how this goes. <sighs> Um, oh man, it's pigmented. Oh god, oh god, it's like I've got a cheetah print on my face. What have I done? Let me blend this in, I'll be back. Okay, I definitely put too much bronzer on. I would definitely say with this product, be, um, don't be generous with the amount of product you're putting on your brush. It is very pigmented, but it is such a gorgeous colour. Um, I'm not the best at putting bronzer on, not gonna say. I'm not a beauty guru in any way, shape, or form, nor am I claiming to be. Um, I just thought I'd try out some new products, but... This is a really nice bronzer. I just think you need to be careful with the amount you're putting on your brush. You could definitely do your whole face in one tap. Um... Do a little bit on the jawline, a little bit on the schnoz, even though I don't ever contour my nose. I just pretend I do in this video because I'm a beauty guru now. And no, I'm kidding, I'm not a beauty guru. Um, okay. Wow, so we have a very pigmented side to our face. There goes our brush, great. Um, okay, I really like this. I think it is definitely more pigmented compared to any other bronzer I have used lately. Um, count how many times I've said pigmented in the last minute because that's the only one I know how to use. Um, anyway, I really like this. Um, I'm not sure how the highlight is going to go because I haven't tested it out. But I do like the bronzer. It is a very warm tone bronzer. So if you don't like warm tone bronzers, I wouldn't recommend this. But if you like warm tone bronzers... Pick this one up. Okay, so for blush, I ordered um, a couple blushes online from Tarte the other day because I got one about a year ago, I'm going to say. I got one for my birthday about a year ago. Um, one of their Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blushes and I loved it and I've been obsessed ever since and I completely forgot to pick some up when I was in America. So I ordered two online the other day when they had a 25% off sale, I think. So I picked these two up. This is what they look like. This one, the first one is a peachy tone blush and it is called Captivating. The second one I picked up is called Fearless and this one came in a little bit of a different packaging. It's got some design on the front. But this one is a very pink toned blush and it actually has shimmer in it which I wasn't expecting but it's cute. I like um, It's a very pinky... Um, tone blush. It's got like gold reflex in it. It kind of reminds me of Nars Orgasm, but it doesn't have like that gold reflex, like as much gold reflex band on your face as it does. But I really like it. Today's look, I... I think I want to bring a bit of pink back into my cheeks. So I think I am going to be using this shimmery, shimmery one called... What was it again? Fearless. And I'm going to be taking just my Real Techniques blush brush. I love this brush for applying blush because I like... I think it really covers the cheekbones really well. So I'm just going to dump our brush into this. Oh wow, it really picks up a lot of product. Man, okay, it's pigmented. My other one that I have is very um, neutral, so it doesn't like... A lot of product doesn't come off on the blush. The brush. So I'm not used to 
having to apply little amount of blush. I feel like it's gonna be very pigmented. Ugh, I'm scared. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Ooh, she's a nice blush. She is a nice blush. Yes. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so nice and natural and the shimmer is just gorgeous. I look healthy again. I love it. 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 Mm. Yes, okay, I feel like I've been recommending every product to you guys that I've tried so far, but I genuinely haven't had a bad product. I really, really, really like this. Um, mm, mm, mm. I look so healthy. My cheeks are so pink and rosy. Okay, definitely recommend this to you guys. Now, I always leave my highlighter for last, so don't think I'm forgetting about that. I'm going to quickly do my brows because I haven't got any new brow products. And honestly, I have no intentions of trying any new brow products because I swear by my Anastasia Brow Wiz. So I'm just going to quickly do my brows and I will be back with you guys in a hot minute. So I filled my brows in, I'm back, and I feel a little bit more humane now. Um, so, but now it's time to move on to the eyeshadow. I'm super, 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 super excited about this because eyeshadow is my favorite part of a makeup look. So let's come in closer to my eyes and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing so today. For my eyes today, I'm going to be taking the ColourPop single shadows. As I said before, ColourPop sent me over a package and there was oh, like 28 single of their single shadows in there and I've heard so many good things about the single shadows. Shadows, why can't I speak? So I'm super excited to test them out. I have a whole palette here full of them. There's so many colors. They really hit the nail on the head. They know what I like. They love. I love my bronzes and my shimmers and my warm tones, especially this color right here is calling my name. Um, I love my pink shimmers and my champagnes. So I'm super excited to test these out. Um, but yeah, I'll bring you guys in to my eyeballs and we will work out a look. So excuse my hairy eyebrows. Um, yeah, we'll just forget about them. For now, I'm going to take this warm chocolate brown here which is called made to last put that through my crease as a bit of a wash of color I barely even tapped into that product and it's so pigmented like I'm when I'm saying I barely even tapped in I literally went like that what So this is just to give the crease a bit of a color before we start defining and adding some shimmers to our lid. So to define the crease a bit, I'm going to be taking this darker, more um, chocolatey, muddy brown. Um, this is what it looks like. And this one is called Popular Demand. And I'm just going to be putting that all through my outer corner and into my crease a little bit as well. More defined brush, crease brush from Colourpop and I'm just going to start buffing that into my outer corner and into the middle section of the crease. Now don't worry, uh, everything will blend out in the, in the end. I'm not entirely sure what look I'm going for here so we're just kind of going to roll with it and see where the eyeshadows take us. <laughs> when you feel like you've done all the blending you possibly can, just go back in with that first color that we had and just kind of blend the two colors together and kind of transition it so there's not any harsh lines and any unwanted chunks of color because that does not look cute, guys. Okay, so the key to successful eyeshadow is blending. Okay, I think I need to learn from it myself when I say that sometimes because I forget to blend. But yeah, just blend, 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 blend and you can't go wrong. <laughs> I'm going to take this very pink champagne um, shimmer color which is called Liar Liar and I'm just going to place that on my lid with a little bit of spray on my brush and I'm just going to pop that on my lid. I would love to be able to do a cut crease but honestly I do not know how to do a cut crease. <laughs> So I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I can do a cut crease because I can't. So I'm just going to pop it on my lid and 
pretend everything is all jolly. Oh, look how pigmented that is. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. I love, 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 love colors like this. Oh, that's my jam. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to add this to my other eye and I'll be back in a second. So I absolutely love that shimmer color on the lid. Um, but I feel like I want to kind of just define the crease a bit more and add a little bit more color. I love this warm tone look that we're going for. So I think I'm just going to take some more of that um, second color that we used up here and just kind of buff that into the outer corner a bit more and give it a bit more color. Hey, um, I really, 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 really am digging this eyeshadow look. Um, just as always, just until if you think you finished blending, blend and blend some more because you can never be doing enough blending. Okay, I really, really like this look. I feel like I might have gone a little bit too high up on my lid, but that's okay. We can fix that in a second. I'm just going to take some of this bone white shade here and I'm just going to place it um, here kind of just to blend that into my um, brow bone a bit and then we'll highlight the brow bone because I can't forget that I just don't want this to look like a really harsh line <laughs> That's better. I don't want, I think I took the eyeshadow up a little bit too high for my liking. Um, I'm going to take some of this dark brown shade right here and I'm going to just kind of line the bottom of my line, my eyelid and smudge it out a bit. That'll do, right? I'm just going to take my finger onto that shimmer shade again and just... <coughs> I think I inhaled some eyeshadow. And just kind of pack back on because I think I took some off. Oh yes, look at the pigmentation though, guys. How can you get past that? Oh, yes. Okay, I think I need to step back from the eyes and remember that less is more. The eyes are done. Cheat check. So, I did have this heavy metal glitter from Urban Decay that I really wanted to try out. I got it at Mecca the other day. So, I think I'm just going to take this on my inner corner and, I don't know, pizzazz it up a bit because I really, 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 really want to try it. So, let's give it a go. I did just say I was moving away from my eyelids, but we're going back in. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. I'm actually not going to lie. I have tried this on my eyelids and I loved it. It looks so good when it catches the light. Like, look at that. This is the shade Distortion um, on the lids. Oh, it looks so good. But um, I just want to try it on my inner corners today. It looks so cool. Now I don't have to do an inner corner highlight. Okay, moving back out. What else do we have to do? So for the lashes today, I am going to be trying out a new mascara that I got from Tarte. This is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. It's basically just a big wand like this. It's I like my wands when the bristles to be very small because I find it's easier to get on my eyelashes. Um, I like to just take off any excess product at the end of my brush because I hate it when it gets clumpy. So I'm just going to take my mirror and apply this onto my top and bottom lashes. It is a very, very fat brush, but the bristle is so fine. I really like, it's not getting clumpy. I really like this. I don't know if you guys can see very well. Oh God, I nearly got that on my eyebrow. This is gonna sound really weird, but I hate it when it actually looks like you have mascara on. Like, 
I haven't really finished putting it on, but I don't know if you can tell. This still looks pretty natural to me. Um, I hate it when mascara looks really clumpy and it's so obvious that you actually have mascara on. This is a really nice mascara though because you don't have to apply a lot. Because the brush is so big, it really coats most of the lash in one go. Um, so I don't know if you can see the difference. I really like this. I'm just going to do my other eye and I'll be back in a sec. I am digging this mascara. I think that this is going to become one of my new faves. I just really like how the brush is so long, and it, but it's very short. And, oh, I don't know how to describe it. I really like it. I am just going to do a little bit of eyeshadow under my eyes. I'm just going to take the same color I used in my crease. And then I'm going to add some bottom mascara. And then it's time for highlights. So I just added some color under my eyes and I put on some bottom mas mascara. I just used the same one. I am digging this look, you guys. It's quite natural. Like it's not like bam in your face, but I really like it. The mascara just pops. Um, I'm not a big like fan of falsies. Like I don't like to put them on on an everyday occasion if I can help it. So I really like this. I'm just going to dust away any fallout. Not that there really was any fallout. Um, but yes, yeah, so definitely the mascara was a plus tech check. 10 out of 10 for me. These eyeshadows, amazing. If you want to get your hands on some ColourPop single shadows, I would definitely recommend these. I think they're like four bucks each, which is a steal. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend that. And the glitter liner. I mean, can you go wrong with glitter liner? No. <laughs> But now it's time for some highlight. I'm super excited. Again, we're going in with some ColourPop highlight. So this is the uh, Gimme More, Gimme More ColourPop Press Powder Highlighter. I'm not gonna lie, I've swatched this, and oh my god, guys, I think it's gonna give my Anastasia highlighting palette a run for its money. This is what it looks like. It has a really diverse range of shades. Um, I particularly am very intrigued to use this one. It's actually quite similar to the one I just used on my lid, but. So pigmented, like I barely even touched it. But let me let me give you guys a couple swatches. So I don't know if you can see because of the light, but that's like the first two shades in the palette. <gasps> I'm so excited. So I'm going to be taking this pink shade because I think it's going to go with the eyeshadow look we just did. And I'm going to be taking my Anastasia A23 brush. Okay, so I'd like to sincerely apologize if the camera angle just changed. My battery decided to be very rude and just die on me. So I've switched her out for a new one because she wasn't very helpful. Um, as I was saying, I'm going to be taking this middle shade on my A23 brush. I'm just going to pack that on and let's test this out. Let's see if these cheekbones are going to glow to the world. Okay, ready? Are you ready, guys? I'm ready. Is it there? Where's my glow? Oh, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. I don't know if you guys can. Hang on. We'll get there. Let's do some nose. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, let's let's do the other cheekbone. I have faith in you. Come on. Oh yeah. I was right to install my faith in you. Yes. Look at the glow. Oh my god, guys. I can't even. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, my camera was actually blinded for a second because my highlight was so blinding. But I can't stop applying it. Oh my god. Oh, this highlight is amaze balls. Okay, um not gonna lie, for $18 you get six highlighters and you can use them as eyeshadows, you can use them as highlighters. I don't know, you can use them to paint paintings on the wall. I don't care. I would 100% recommend getting this. I'm just gonna sit here all day because <gasps> look at the pigmentation. Okay, um, okay, but no, all jokes aside, this, these two, I mix these two together. Mm, mm, like, can we just, mm, yeah. Look, look at my nose. It's glowing. It's glowing to the gods. Like, okay, I'm sorry, Anastasia. I think you're out of the picture now because for $18, I could be getting this instead. Like, Colourpop, you pulled through. You really came up to the table and you served. Like, look at this. Okay. To finish this look off, we're missing some lips. 
Got to give those big juicy lips. Um, I actually have two things to test out here. The first is from Colourpop. The second is from Marc Jacobs. Um, the first is the Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip Color in the shade Alyssa. This is actually from the Kathleen Lights Times Colourpop collection. Kathleen Lights is honestly one of my favorite YouTubers. I love her so much. I am looking into the viewfinder so much today. I'm so sorry, guys. I just, because I'm doing my makeup, it's really hard. So please excuse that. But I am, this is in Ultra Satin Lip, so I don't think it dries down completely matte, but we'll have to give it a go. It is a really nice um, pink. I really like nude pinks. This is actually showing up a lot more orange than what it is. Why are you doing this to me? This is actually showing up a lot more orange than what it is in real life. Let me do a little swatch, swatch for you guys that is not what it looks like in real life can I just put that out there okay I am going to pop this on my lips and then we're going to use the Marc Jacobs stuff afterwards it's a gloss by the way and I'm gonna pop this on my lips mmm oh it feels very creamy Yes, 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 yes. These lipsticks, oh my goodness. They're so moussey. I don't know. It just, it feels so light. It almost feels like, honestly, I have nothing on my lips. I'm not sure about the color. I thought it was going to be a lot more pink. That's why I kind of paired it with the look because I wanted the eyes to be the statement rather than the lips. But... Aside from that, the color is very nice. The formula, I really like. I do have quite dry lips, so it has kind of settled into my lip lines a bit. But I can move past that because I bite my like lip just subconsciously. Like I just do it out of habit. So um, lipsticks don't settle very well on my lips. So this is actually looking quite nice. I love the formula. I feel like I don't have anything on my lips. So actually really, really, really enjoy that. But now I'm going to last, but not actually, no, I need to set my face. So this is the second last step. This is the Marc Jacobs um, High Shine Lip Gloss Lacquer in the shade Sugar, 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 Sugar. Here we go again. Is that the right lyrics? I don't know. Anyway, this is a really nice nude pink, my kind of color for a gloss. I love putting a gloss over a lipstick. Um, this almost looks like it has a little bit of shimmer inside it as well. Let me do a little swatch for you guys. Oh yes, I love that color. Even that color on its own would look really nice, I feel like. Why are you not focusing on me? Okay, so let's pop this over top of our lipstick and see how it looks oh yeah they smell really minty mmm I love this I feel like perhaps these are probably lip glosses that are more tended to be put um, on their own rather than over top of a lipstick but nonetheless I'm still digging this look What do you guys think? I don't know about the lipstick. Is it throwing off the whole look? I feel like it is. I feel like it just doesn't go. What do you guys think? I don't know. Should I take it off? No. We're going to persevere. We're going to persevere because that's what we do here. We never, ever, ever give up. Okay? I look beautiful. Okay? So you look beautiful. Last but not least, I'm going to be taking my Mario Badescu spray. Last for our last and final step and I'm just going to set my face. Mmm, this stuff smells amazing. So this is the finished look. I am so happy with how everything turned out. Honestly, I feel like people go into these things expecting to like be find really bad products. Um, but I am so happy. I loved every product I tried because it means that Everything I purchased I can use again and everything I was sent I am 
over the moon with. Um, I, again, would just like to firstly thank Marc Jacobs and Colourpop for actually sending me some of the products that we use in this video. This video is in no way sponsored or affiliated with them at all. I just feel like I wanted to thank them in some way for sending me the stuff that they did because they didn't have to do that. So, um, thank you. But I am going to be doing another video in the future showing you everything that they got. So don't worry, that is coming. But, okay, the lipstick, I love the color. I don't know if it goes with the look, but I love it. And the gloss, it's kind of giving my lips a little bit of a tingle, but like a nice, like when you use like a minty lip balm, it's like that. And it smells like mint as well. The contour, loved it. Bronzer blush, love the blush, the highlight. I mean, look at it. Can we, can we not even like, we don't even have to go there. The eyeshadows, oh my god, pring, those single shadows, I don't know how come I haven't tried them sooner. The mascara was a hit. Um, the wind, the liner, glitter liner, um, the spray. I mean, everything was just a plus for me. I didn't have anything go wrong. So yes, I am super happy with how this look turned out. Comment down below what your thoughts are. I am not claiming in any way to be a makeup artist. I just do makeup because it is something that takes my mind off what is going on around me and it is something that's fun. So if you're here just to construct, to, to criticize me for having the wrong lip shade or not blending my eyeshadow enough, that is fine. Go ahead and do that. But honestly, I really don't care and I don't have time for your concerns because I'm just doing this for fun and um, I wanted to do a YouTube video on some makeup because you guys have been requesting it. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because we're so close to a hundred thousand. Oh my God, I'm actually mesmerized. Anyway, I love you all so much and I will see you and all of your beautiful faces in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I feel like it's going to be a long one because I've been filming for over an hour and I don't know how I sat here for over an hour, but I have. Also, I got my nails painted today. Anyway, I am getting off topic. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.